question seven. So uh, we need to show that this equals this. So we've obviously aiming to have a single term. So we need to gather these three terms together. So we need to have a common denominator. So the common denominator is going to be uh, this x squared plus five multiplied by x plus two. Can that picks up this and this? So this first term we choose to multiply top and bottom by x squared plus five. The second term we choose to multiply top and bottom by x plus two. This gives us the same denominator throughout, so they, we can combine it into the single term, and the three uh, numerators all just uh, go in together. So we'll do a claw on this: so two x squared plus plus ten plus four x plus eight minus eighteen. All of that combines to make the numerator. We simplify that to get two x squared plus four x all over the denominator and then we factorize the numerator to 2x x plus 2 the, uh, the x plus 2 and the x plus 2 are common factors so they cancel leaving us with 2x over x squared plus 5 as required now hence or otherwise uh, differentiate this remember h dash x means the differential of h of x so we've got a, a, a division here so we're going to use the quotient rule so our numerator becomes u 2x and v our, uh, our denominator of x squared plus 5 so we differentiate each of these to give us du dx and dv dx now the um, h dash x is going to be v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared so we substitute in multiply out the numerator and combine our terms to get this this, the numerator simplifies to 10 minus 2x squared all over our x squared plus 5 all squared. Now for part C we're being asked to work out the range of this function. Now this is the domain, the range is what is the, uh, the spread of the y values. Well clearly we're going from naught. How far do we go up to? Well we're going to go, our spread is going to be the y value of the maximum point. So we need to kick off by working out the coordinate of the maximum point at the maximum point dy dx equals zero so we are going to solve this equaling zero so um, it's the numerator which is going to be zero so we need 10 minus 2x squared equaling zero add 2x squared to both sides divide by 2 square root we get x being root 5 now when x is root 5 what is our, our y value so we substitute root 5 into our function so we get two lots of root 5 all over root 5 squared plus 5. So two lots of root 5 all over. Well, root 5 times root 5 is 5. 5 and 5 is 10. So 2 root 5 over 10, which simplifies to root 5 over 5. So that is our y value of our maximum. So our range of values for our function is greater than or equal to uh, naught, less than or equal to root 5 over 5.